this is just a little lesson on how to wire up a canvas. Um, this is how I do it anyway. I flip it over and make sure that I've got the top on the top facing away from me. And I use little eye hooks. This is a very lightweight canvas. It doesn't need very big, big eye hooks. And about um, a bit above halfway, I go right in the middle of the wood and I kind of put it firmly in and I twist it to get it kind of pressed in. And you can, the nice thing about canvas is that the wood is often very soft, so you can just uh, twist to get it in with your fingers. If it's a, if it's um, little eye hooks are pretty sharp and they go in pretty easily. If it's big eye hooks and a big canvas, you might need many pliers, but fortunately this is going really quick. So, um, so your canvas will hang evenly on the wall make sure that you put the eye hook the same height on both sides. I'm just gonna double check, I haven't mucked this up. Yep, top is still the top. So I'm gonna use my pliers to, to measure this. So about to there, putting my finger where the eye hook is, about to there. Doesn't need to be exactly perfect, but you want it pretty close to the same, so it makes it easier to hang your um, picture straight. I'm flipping it because I'm right-handed and I can screw them in easier this way. Notice my canvas is a bit lumpy there where the paint is thick on the other side and it's pressing it in when it's lying down flat like this, which it won't do when it's against the wall. Okay, that's a little bit tight, so I'm gonna use my pliers to twist it the last little way. The last thing you want after putting all that work into a painting or into buying a painting is to have it fall off the wall because the eye hook isn't in properly. Okay, so there we go. So top. So I've got a length of wire, this is just a bit longer than the actual picture. And I loop it through both ends, like this. Make sure it's about even. And I pull it not super taut, but you want it a bit taut because you don't want to end up with loose wire and having it hanging above. That's kind of, you see it like that in cartoons, but you don't really want to see that in real life. So, and then you just, uh, loop it around and just twist it. And you want to kind of twist it a little bit tightly because if you do it too loose, it's going to come undone. If this was a bigger canvas, you'd, you'd need to probably use a heavier gauge. Like I use a much, much heavier gauge wire and um, heavier eye hooks because you just, again, you don't want your painting falling off, but this is a really light one. So this, I've never had one of my canvases, the back of a, the eye hooks fall out or the the wire come undone doing it with this method. It's nice and simple. And there you go. Three minutes. And it's ready to be hung up.